Mi gente, bus uh, number 13 in the Bronx, and uh, we have a young lady uh, in, in a wheelchair, third age. Uh, I would like to uh, introduce her. Hi, my name's Patricia. And yeah, I know how it is. You raise the kids and you know, you take care of them till they're adults, figuring when you need help and you're old that they're going to take care of you. But the, as soon as they get to their teens and they realize they got their freedom, they're out the door. They don't even know you exist anymore. And what are the services that uh, you're getting right now? Are you starting to fight with the service you're getting? Uh, the, what do uh, you think the, uh, the mayor should do uh, more for the third age? Yeah, they should. Because um, they keep cutting back everything for seniors and stuff. And people who are disabled, well, they're using us like we're, we're just something to throw away. And it's a shame. This country's losing all of its culture, all of its beauty, because they're just not taking care of those that bring it in here. Um, how's the, your family and, and how's the home tendon not serving? Actually, I don't have any living family remaining anymore. And I'm pretty far up there in age. Um, my uh, husband is the only support I have, and thank God for that. Because if he wasn't there, the aid services, this one lady that I have today, she's the best aid I've ever had. But um, I went through so many aids that, that, that they try to beat you up, they try to rob you, they do rob you. The services are terrible, you know. But then the only solution is going to the nursing homes, which are even worse. And I've been in a nursing home for two years, fighting, ending up in the chair. And I, I feel sorry for the people that can't speak for themselves because they are abused daily. I mean, it's really awful. Uh, Patricia, uh, you being a uh, handicap, being in a wheelchair, uh, how you go about, uh, you know, in the city, how people look at you. They really look at you like you're a burden to them and that you want to get on the bus and, oh my God, another wheelchair, and, you know, all kinds of crap come out of the mouth. I just really ignore it most of the time. It's just, there's actually some people that when you get on the bus, they actually beat you up just because you're in a chair. I know I've had a few instances myself. And if they don't beat you up physically, they beat you up verbally by making fun of you, you know, things like that. Hey, speech is speech, you know, it's a freedom of speech, but when your freedom of speech is damaging someone else, it's not okay. And uh, a lot of them go, they start out, you know, verbally abusing you, and then they start swinging at you for no reason at all, other than that you're in a chair. Oh, Patricia, are you retired? Or what, 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 what was uh, your profession? What kind of work you was, you used to do? If you wanted to uh, say it. Well, the thing I, I did the longest actually was uh, cashier, and I really liked the job. But I did work in home care agencies, and I had training in fields that, well, I don't really want to discuss. <laughs> but um, I, I, I worked in ICU units and hospitals and everything as volunteer. And so I do have an extensive background in different things. But I'm not one of those, I'm not one of those jack of all trade things. Whenever I did something, I did it to the max. Now, uh, Patricia, um, what kind of services are you getting? Are you certified with uh, your, home, your home attendant and the service you are, uh, you're getting right now? Um, it's better than most. It's not the best, but it's better than most. I've been through quite a few agencies. And um, not having uh, not having a farm in the uh, and having a home attendant, uh, uh, how how do uh, you feel more comfortable uh, by having someone to talk to? Well, I get to talk to everybody. I'm kind of a friendly person, <laughs> so um, it really I would talk to some people even if I didn't have a home attendant. It's not I'm not a shut in. Oh, Patricia, one last message uh, for uh, Información al Desnudo, La Voz Latina, uh, WBAI 99.5 FM. Stay in there, fight hard, and uh, God bless, because that's what you're going to do. Thank you.